so this is Rawtism, Raw and Off Its Head, six tracks, 32 minutes, the debut EP from the Australian band released May 2021 independently, uh, though it's only just been officially launched, uh, self-produced by the band. Two singles have been released in Go Raw Artistic and Stay Metal. There's also a cover of Sultans of Swing on this one, and we recently chatted to the band on our Tuesday night stream the other week. Uh, so now it's time to give these guys the uh, overdue, redu- uh, overdue review treatment. My God, I am tired. Anyway, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I hadn't heard anything from this band before, so when I put it on, I thought, okay, a bit of a punk hardcore style. And then uh, within a couple of seconds, or about 30 seconds or so, they bring in this awesome melody and there's some really impressive lead, lead work. Um, yep. Riffs are really energetic and engaging. As the title suggests, it's got a very raw feel, but it's just there's no overflash production, no bullshit. It's just this band comes from the musicians playing their instruments, and it's fucking good. Uh, it's yeah. obviously influenced by the flat, fresh metal genre, but it's the whole new spin on it, really. It's not recycled ideas or recycled riffs. Um, it's yeah. very straightforward, honest, and in your face. It's um, pretty much plug and play, but they let the music, the music do the job. Solos are fucking amazing. It's like, yeah. there, were, there were times where I'm just like, oh, man, that was cool. I'm clicking back on Spotify to hear the solo part again. <laughs> Well, here's, here's a tidbit for you. Uh, Keith, the guitarist, used to be in an old band with Dennis back in the day. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> I can see them doing the dual harmony shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, just, the solos itself bring a whole new texture to the songs. Um, and you hear people saying that solos take you to another place in the song, but they, re- they really do on this one. It's just, yeah, yeah very cool. Vocals are really cool. And um, set this uh, suit the style of music really well. I think I'm tired too. <laughs> that <laughs> scream at the end of the same metal. That's fucking cool. I'm just like, okay, when's he gonna let it go? When's he gonna let it go? And no, it keeps it, keeps it. This is cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, the song title with all the initials, is it yep. standing for bang your head and shut the fuck up? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Got it right. That is yep. a very cool song. Having that mm-hmm. little talking about who the fuck is this band? This shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, cover of Souls in the Swing, very well done. And heard that song millions of times, but having that fresh metal tone in it just brings out a new vibe. I thought that was very cool. Overall, it's very cool EP. Tones were good on that one. Yeah, it sounded really good. Um, overall, mm-hmm. really fun EP to listen to and a great introduction to the band. Um, be good to see what they do next. I'm looking forward to it. Um, seven out of ten. And Fresh's Endurance and Stay Metal, the most standouts. Okay, cool. Very nice. Um, this is pure unadulterated, unadulterated raw thrash on this one. If you like it old school, get on this one. If you like anything from Harlot, Hobbsy, Anthrax, and the Big Four in general, mm. this is one of those ones you're going to really get a kick out of. Um, like I said, I got a bit of a Hobbsy vibe. Hobbs Angel of Death uh, was a bit of a vibe on this one. Uh, I liked – there's plenty of riffs, uh, some fantastic lead work like you covered off. I like the rhythm section on this too. That the drums really add to the intensity on this one. The bass really pushes and fills it out nicely as well. For how frantic this is right from the start, this has a hell of a lot of groove as well. And I think that's important because that keeps it on really interesting to listen to. Energy is infectious, great gear changes, no ballads, not a single fucking moment like that. Uh, the slowest it gets is when they're talking, basically. <laughs> um, and that's just like you know, the, the simulation of a live setting kind of a thing. Uh, I think that for a completely self-produced release, uh, this actually sounds pretty damn good. And if anything, that sort of raw edge adds to the element and the fun of this one. You don't want this one to be all polished up like you get with things like um, Accept and, and you know, uh, Dee Snyder or, or um, Judas Priest, the latest ones, are all really high production kind of value. This one doesn't have that and it doesn't need it. If anything, that would take away from the charm of this one because you want that raw grit in this release and it works really well for him. I think the mix is done really nicely. The vocals cut through just right. The It's got a really tough bottom end and a really brittle, harsh sort of top end. It works really nicely. The whole sonic palette of this is really put together really well. So, you know, for self-produced, they did a damn good job of this. They were talking in an interview that I did it basically in a laptop in one of their rooms. I was like, that's pretty fucking special. So well done. Um, they got it just right with that and just, you know, just the whole thing, but get some good times at the start and just sort of mix it the best you can. They did a good job with that from start to finish. It won't win any awards. There's not any tricks involved, 
but it's great for the style, capture the energy, all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. Just kept it real and the honesty works for him. Yeah. All the performances are fantastic on this one from, you know, a vocalist to guitar to drums to bass. There's not a weak link in this at all. And I think that, you know, the lyrics are what really make this one cut through, though. It's completely unapologetic. Uh, it's in your face. It's fun, but there is some serious bite in there, too. Not afraid to make a stand, and I think that's what makes it, makes this really cool and sort of, again, adds to that whole old-school ethos on this one a bit. I've given this one quite a few spins. It's not lost any of its staying power. The appeal is still there. Um, and the cover on this, Sultan to Swing is not a song I would have thought a thrash band would or should cover. Uh, but they do a really good job of it. It makes it interesting. It, it really does spice up. They don't stray too far from the composition of the song, but the edge and the tones and that make it really different and interesting to sort of take in. Like if you're an old school thrash head or metal head, get on this one. This is right up your alley. Give it a go. Uh, I love it. I reckon it's good things from these guys. and hopefully They keep going on because this is a really good start. Eight out of 10. Uh, stay metal. You'll get what's coming. But yeah, bang your head, shut the fuck up. is a great song as well uh yeah thrashes endurance like you said is another great one too says there's some out of all the tracks on this one there's no duds so yeah check it out you'll find something there for sure to enjoy